What seed is this? It's a lorito seed. It's a cojoba species. Uh, it's one of the trees we have in the nursery. We have in Costa Rica a couple of species, cojoba arborea and cojoba costarricensis. They have a very good germination rate. They grow very fast. And it's also used as an ornamental tree. And these seeds are eaten by a lot of animals too. So. Fantastic, you've got loads of them there. Eh? Yeah. One of the ones that we're going to collect and germinate to the EPS project. So. so, you guys, man, you're amazing. Great week this week. I was down at the nursery checking everything out. I see you've been really busy. You've started, gotten a long way on the seed collection process, and that's, you know, fantastic. Yes, um, demo. So, thank you very much for your hard work and effort. But I, I have something to talk to you about today that um, is a little bit disconcerting, and I wanted to share it with you. Um, at this time, it's unclear exactly what the timeline is going to be for receiving any more trees from ESA. And uh, we're still working with, working closely with them, trying to get things worked out. And um, uh, you know, I know that they're they're making some changes with their program and so on and so forth. So, um, so basically, we don't have a date for when the next trees will come, or or what's going at on. At this time, we do not have a date, a date. for when they're come. So, okay. um, and we're almost done rebagging the trees we already have from Easy. That's correct. So. so yeah. I guess the solution we can uh, find right now is just produce our own trees from what we have here in the forest. But we, well, we have, uh, you know, our sponsors expect us to get 40,000 done this year. Mm -hmm. That's uh, to uh, uh, up to reforestation and uh, our eco cert sponsors are expecting that. Okay. And that seems like a big number, Arnaldo. I mean, do you think do you think we can do you think we can do that on our own? Oh yeah, of course. Well, we have enough uh, materials to work here. Uh, I mean, the seeds, seedlings, uh, uh, dirt, compost. We have sand to make the the germinator uh, stations. Uh, this time of year cannot be better because we just in the transition between the dry and the and the rainy season. So that's where most of seeds uh, uh, fall from down from the trees. Mm -hmm. Walking around the forest, we should always carry bags and a, a, a little bit of uh, a, like a newspaper or what kind of uh, uh, other type of paper. So you just uh, grab this like like this. Just uh, take them out of the of the dirt uh, carefully. Put the roots in like in the same level and fold it with a wet newspaper or whatever type of uh, uh, paper and put them in a plastic bag and they will not uh, stress or dehydrate for, for uh, hours so you can have uh, uh, then replant them and just have more trees. This is the mamon tree. The mamon fruit falls down with the seed inside, replants and this is what happens. Just thousands, I think, you could put, safely say of little mamon seedlings. Now, because they're all close together, they're going to compete. So what we do is we take them out, we put them in the nursery um, in bags, we water them, uh, make sure they've got a nice amount of shade, allow them to grow to a reasonable height, usually a meter to a meter and a half, and then we plant them so that they have a really strong fighting chance of becoming that tree, essentially, all, all throughout this valley. So that's the end of week one here at Ocean Ranch Park. The beautiful, incredible Ocean Ranch Park. 850 acres of just incredible, abundant life. And you only have to think that if there's this much abundance of life and diversity of life here now, imagine what it would be when this entire area is reforested. It really is incredible. Yeah, it's been a week of ups and downs, but a week of hard work and dedication all the same. And with donations and more hard work and more hands it's time for this project to take off it's time for the real potential of what we can achieve here to be achieved and that can only happen with more hands and and your help so join us 
in this incredible journey so you can be a part of it as well.